Hi, um, thank you for tuning into my very small channel. <laughs> um, you typed in uh, backslider, and I am assuming that you're looking for every type of video that you possibly can get your hands on. You're a backslider, you have turned your back on God, you're either in a relationship that is not pleasing to the Lord, you're having sex outside of marriage, or something happened and you said no to God, or you're really angry at Him, or whatever the case may be, but you're far from the Lord, at least that's how you feel, and you feel like it's too late, or can He ever forgive me? This is just a very quick video, and before we get into anything, I think that um, we should just pray. I I'll pray before, and then um, I'll just talk to you really quickly, whatever the Holy Spirit wants to say. Um, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I come right now with this brother or this sister who is watching me right now, and we come in one accord and we come in agreement and we just ask you for the forgiveness of our sins. Forgive us. Forgive me for failing you, for letting you down, for turning my back on you and putting something or someone else above you. I love you and I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that whoever is watching this, Holy Spirit, that you would reveal yourself to this person and that you would bring truth into their life the Bible says that our adversary is the accuser of the brethren so that's all he does is he lies all day long Jesus you said that Satan is a liar that he was a liar from he was a murderer from the beginning and anytime he, he speaks lies he speaks in his native language there is no truth in him so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask, Holy Spirit, that you remove the scales off of your children's eyes, that you may give them ears to hear, that there would be more of you and less of us, that you may increase while we decrease. And I declare and decree in the name of Jesus Christ that no word from the Lord will ever fail. Father, the Bible says that blessed is she or he, um, who uh, believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to them. Father, whoever this person is, wherever they think that they're at, please, Holy Spirit, let them know that nobody is ever too far gone, that you can't reach them, or they're, they're, they're too far in the darkness where you can't find them. The Bible says that darkness has not overcome the light, nor will it ever. Thank you, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um, I, I probably got like super close to the camera. Sorry. Oh, I gained so much weight from the last time I was on here, but sorry. I'm a mom now, which is kind of uh, a very brief testimony that I'm going to give you. Um, so my name is Marlene. I am uh, a single mom now. Not by choice, but things kind of went south. And um, I want to say that I now know through the hard way, why the Lord, or the Bible says to be with someone who is, who, actually it says do not be with anyone who is unequally yoked. And I've come to learn that that's not, that's not just applicable to a relationship between a man and a woman, but it's also applicable to friendships. The Bible says do not be deceived for bad company corrupts good characters. So that's my cat over there, don't freak out. And, um, I personally, um, you know, I became a believer uh, and I backslid. And I thought, I, I backslid and then I slid into a relationship that was not very good and it, frankly it wasn't of the Lord. I became, I started to pray and ask the Lord, like, is this the person for me? Is this the one? Um, but here's the thing. When... You pray, the Holy Spirit will tell you, will tell you, and you know that that person is or isn't for you. And if you know that that person is not for you, and God is saying no, listen, because you'll be like, well, maybe that wasn't a clear answer. 
and you know that Jesus is saying, stop, that might be, this is the work of Satan against your life. And remember, whether you believe this or not, there are two very real places. There's heaven and there is hell. Hell was not created or intended for human beings. It was designed for Satan and the angels that he deceived, which are now fallen angels, or demons, whatever you like to call them. We're not meant to go to that place, but we have free will and we choose ultimately where we go. Um, and so I ended up in a very, uh, it was a really bad relationship. And I turned my back on the Lord because I wanted to make it work for my family. But really, you know, every all the doors closed on me. The thing is that when you backslide, everything falls apart for you because you, you, you that's a literal way of seeing um, God's hand pulling out of your life. Especially if you're in a relationship where you're having sex outside of marriage, that does not please God. And it's not that sex is bad because obviously the Lord created it for a reason, but it's not, it's not sex that's bad. It's just, it's so beautiful that he created a promise around it. And now he wants you to partake in that promise and he wants you to be one with that person. And he wants you to be in covenant because we serve a God of covenant, of order. He has a certain way he wants things done. Everything is conditional and orderly and, um, we don't seem to get that and I would like to add that when you're in a relationship I know I digressed a little I'll get back to it when you're in a relationship or you're having sex with someone there's something called if you don't already know it's called a soul tie so when you have sex you literally become one not just in body but in spirit and you become intertwined with this person now this if this person has anger issues and anxiety issues and is an emotional wreck guess what he just gave you it's Think of it as a spiritual venereal disease, a spiritual disease that not you carry. And the person is gone now. It didn't work out. But guess what you're stuck with? Now you're stuck not just with what you were probably fighting before, but now you have a whole demonic um, um, aggression and wreckage in your life and your spirit that you can't seem to get rid of. So um, why, I'm right, why I decided to... Um, film this video, sorry I can't come up with the words, is if you're a backslider, don't give up, okay? Don't stop praying. Don't stop reading the word. The minute that you stop praying, the minute that you stop reading the Bible, the enemy is winning. Ultimately, why I said the whole thing about heaven and hell is that we have a real enemy of our souls. You are a constant reminder of his defeat. He hates you. He hates everything about you. And there's nothing more than he would rather see than for you to be taken to hell. And he will use all kinds of distractions. And if he can get you into sin, he knows that there is now an official legal barrier between you and your God. Because God is so perfect. He cannot be anywhere where sin is abiding in your life. I mean, that's any type of sin. You know, unforgiveness or um, anger or resentment or something that's not resolved. Sin creates a block. And because God is so perfect that he's not going to violate his own law and authority simply because, um, you know, we're asking him to. No, he's asking us. Um, the, the Bible says that when we seek him and we seek him with all our heart, then we'll find him. That's what Jeremiah says. But my um, advice to you First of all, the Bible says the big, uh, if you want wisdom, is get wisdom. If you're in, if you're doing something that's not pleasing the Lord, and this is what's made you a backslider, get out, run. Because I want you to think about this: it only takes two seconds for something to happen to you, to anybody. Is that person, or is it situation, or is that circumstance worth you spending eternity in hell? Probably not. Run to God. Come to Him in prayer, in supplication. The Bible says, Paul said, worry about nothing, but instead pray about everything. And, and without many prayers and requests, many prayers make your request be made known to God. Talk to God. Tell Him, even if you have to, that there is no way that you can get yourself out of it and that you really want to go back to Him. 
don't stop seeking the Lord. Yes, he will. The, the Bible says in Jeremiah that it says that he will heal our backsliding. God is so amazing. I've read in the Old Testament and the New Testament, you know, they're both intertwined, but I've been reading the Old Testament a lot lately. And one thing that always see, never ceases to amaze me is that no matter how angry God got at Israel for being unfaithful to him, the second, and it says that he was angry with them, but the second that they repented, the second that they asked for forgiveness, he immediately forget. He immediately, I can't talk, immediately forgives them. It's like he forgot everything they ever did to him, and now all he wants to do is bless them and show them the way that they're going. And, and obviously, God is a God of abundance, and the Bible says that he is a jealous God. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't want you to be with him. The biggest lie that comes from the pit of hell is that God won't forgive you, and that's wrong. If you're alive, if you're breathing, that is a sign, that is the ultimate sign that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is sitting enthroned next to God the Father right now through the Holy Spirit, wants to forgive you because you're perfect. You're made, well, you're not perfect. I should say you're perfectly, you're perfectly imperfect, but you're his child. He made you and you're so amazing to him and you're so special to him and he wants to use your life. He want, he, there is a purpose. There is a literal purpose for your life that the enemy can't take from you. The Bible says, I believe it might be Luke where the angel said, no word from the Lord will ever fail. And Jeremiah 29, 11 says that God has a plan for us, a plan um, to prosper us and not to harm us, to a plan to give us hope and a future, regardless of what circumstance you're in right now. My thing to you is God will do it. Ask, seek, knock, don't stop. If you're in that relationship right now and you're having sex outside of marriage, God can still use you. You will not change that person. They will not change. Change comes from within. Change comes from revelation from the Holy Spirit. You will be dragged down with that person. You cannot pull them up. They will pull you down immediately because it's easier. Um, don't fool yourself. I remember when I was in um, this relationship and I was pregnant and I was, I was so miserable. I was depressed all nine months of my pregnancy. I was, it was a really bad relationship. And I remember that um, I read an article on Facebook and it like, it was like towards the end and it really just like shocked me because God wants to use you, but he doesn't need you. And if you don't choose to make the right decision, he won't do twice. Actually, I don't want to use that word, that expression, but the fact that he doesn't need you means that he wants you to make the right decision. But if you don't, there's always plan B. God always has a plan B. He always has a person to use if you don't want to be used. And so the article said that the woman was pregnant and she got into an accident, a car accident. And she, she I, I think she flew out of the car and the baby within her was ejected from within her body. She died. The baby lived. To me, that means, I don't know what was going on in the woman's life. But to me personally, that, that meant that God is saying, I, I'll use what's pure. And I don't need, the Bible says that he will wipe the wicked off of the earth. He doesn't need you. And he will use your children. Or your, like, do you know what I mean? All I'm trying to say is there is hope for you because you're alive and you're breathing and God wants to use you watching right now. Don't be discouraged. It doesn't matter what you hear on TV. You want to know the truth? Open that Bible. That's where the truth is at. And don't let the enemy fool you. Remember, the Bible says that for our battle is not against flesh and blood. It is against the spiritual forces of this world. 
the principalities, basically you're not fighting against people. Jesus Christ put on, not, not willingly, but they put on thorns, nails this big going inside of his skull, and that represents the, the torment that um, demonic oppression can bring into your life, telling you that you're you're a failure, or that you're this, or that you're not, you're not going to make it, you're fat, you're ugly, um, God won't forgive you, you're, you, you might as well just keep going, you're going to die, or go kill yourself, that is demonic, and I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Just know the Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. He created you with such a beautiful and abundant purpose. Flourish. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing if it is not pleasing to the Lord. Because the enemy, if there is no protection of the blood over your life, the enemy will swoop in and it is so easy for you to disappear and step outside of history and into eternity. And so I pray that you hear the word of the Lord and that you read your Bibles and that you, you take a minute, a, a moment to speak to the Lord. And um, I'm not gonna edit this video, I'm just gonna and load it up and sorry for the poor quality. I just, I really felt my spirit while my baby's sleeping to just, uh, encourage you that it's never too late and when you come back to the Lord so many things will turn around for you because God is perfect in his mercy and his glory and his righteousness and his blood and he sent Jesus Christ to die for you and you know it in the bottom of your heart and you're watching this video for a reason right so I love you Talk to Jesus. Okay? Love you. Bye. Look at his hair.